Note on the rank of the quadratic twists, of Mordell equations, by Sunkan Chong. This article is published in Journal of Number Theory. Let E be the elliptic curve, given by this Mordell equation. Denote by E subscript D, this quadratic twist. We prepare this delta notation, to ease the typeset R formula. In this paper, the author proves the following theorem. T of x represents the set of positive square-free integers, that are smaller than x. So the theorem computes some bounds, on the average numbers of quadratic twists. With certain Mordell V ranks. One of the earliest known examples of elliptic curves E, with a positive proportion of square-free integers D, such that rank of twists being zero, is the elliptic curve, given by y squared equal x cubed minus x, and proved by Heath Brown in reference 5 in 1994. Note that a similar result was already available in the late 80s. There are two results known in 1988, which together simply imply, that the elliptic curve y squared equal x cubed minus 1, has positive proportion of quadratic twists of rank 0. In 1985, Fry proved in reference 2, that if d is a square-free integer, congruent to 1 mod 4, then the three part of the class group of the associated quadratic field, is trivial if and only if, its three Selmer group is trivial. In 1988, Nakagawa and Hori proved, a refined result of the famous theorem of Davenport and Heilbronn. Their theorem implies, that there is a positive proportion of square-free integers d, such that d congruent to 1 mod 4, and the three part of the class group is trivial. Therefore, it follows that there is a positive proportion of square-free integers d, such that the Selmer group, and hence the mordell v group are trivial. Let us introduce the author's second result. E is an elliptic curve given by this Mordell equation, and the author uses Davenport and Heilbronn's result, to pull out this unconditional average results, on the Mordell V rank of the quadratic twists. The N2 plus in the denominator, denotes the set of positive fundamental discriminants less than X, and congruent to 1 mod 12A. The author would like to thank Professors Heath Brown, Dino Lorenzini, and Michael Stahl for helpful comments. Thank you.